Liberia's chief medical officer under Ebola quarantine Liberia's chief medical officer has put herself under quarantine for 21 days after one of her assistants died from the deadly Ebola virus. Bernice Dunn, the deputy health minister, said she had no symptoms but wanted to take every precaution. The World Health Organization who says more than 3,000 people have died from Ebola in West Africa. Liberia has been the worst hit by the disease, accounting for 1,830 deaths, 150 in the last two days alone. Health workers have been particularly vulnerable to the virus, which is spread by the infected bodily fluids of patients. Health organizations recommend isolating people for at least 21 days, which is the maximum incubation period for the virus. Every precaution Ms. Dot told the BBC on Saturday that she herself had decided to go into quarantine and wanted to abide by that rule. She said she had not come into contact with any other infected people, apart from the office assistant who died this week but wanted to take every precaution. The latest two figures indicate that more than 6,500 people are believed to have been infected in the region in the world's most deadly Ebola outbreak. On Friday, the International Monetary Fund IMF pledged to send dollars 130m in emergency aid to the country's worst hit by the virus, Liberia, Guinea and Sierra Leone. Some 600 people have died in Sierra Leone and a similar number in Guinea, where the outbreak was first confirmed in March. Senegal, which has also been affected by the virus, is due to receive a flight carrying hay workers from one of the three worst affected countries, Guinea, for the first time on Saturday, AP News Agency reports. The airport in Dakar has set up a terminal specifically for humanitarian flights where thorough health checks will be conducted, the agency quotes World Food Program spokesman Alexis Machiarelli is saying. Speaking at the United Nations General Assembly in New York this week, the United States President Obama called for more urgent action in the response to the outbreak. There is still a significant gap between where we are and where we need to be he said.